So today we're going to talk about uh, Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi And Prophet Muhammad is a Muslim Prophet as you all know Between myths, we have so many myths So, so many myths Widespread on the internet and the mass media and everywhere Everyone has his own idea on Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam So, some people caricature him in a very offensive way like what happened in a European country you know years ago nearly 13 years ago was back in uh, 2006 around that and many others believe him to be a wise man or wise men adore him a great man they think that he is a great man and an extraordinary prominent figure and we have 1.8 billion who bear witness him a messenger of God they believe and here for sure we're talking about Muslims they believe that it's their you know belief that he is a messenger sent by Allah sent by God to guide humanity to the right path and to them he is the final prophet and the final messenger no other prophets or messengers will come after him he is the one who followed Jesus Christ and no one is to follow him so you should know this man you remember when we talked about the Chinese how come we have so many so many Chinese in this world of ours and we know, not, know, not, know nothing about them so here we have you know 1.8 billion people who believe in the messengership and the prophethood of Muhammad and we know nothing about him and all we know about him comes from the media and as you know media is guided controlled and it's directed in one way or another so who is Muhammad peace be upon him he is the final okay okay Muhammad is the final prophet in a long chain of prophets as we said last time Allah sent God sent more than 100,000 messengers and prophets in order to guide humanity to his right back and Muhammad is the final one uh, those prophets and messengers included so many and among them Adam, Noah, Abraham, Shmai, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, David, Solomon and Jesus peace be upon them all to be a real Muslim, to be a faithful Muslim, you have to believe in them all. There is no distinction between any one of them. We do not regard any one of them to be better than the others. This is our belief. Including, believe it or not. Including Muhammad? In, sorry? Including Muhammad? For sure, Prophet Muhammad is the best creature. Muslims believe that Prophet Muhammad is the best creature that has been created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but at the same time he is a prophet he is a messenger and nothing more he is not divine as you will see today he is not divine yes what about Mary or where would she fit she, Mary Mary is the mother of Jesus Christ she can't be called a prophet she is not a prophetess no, no for sure for sure prophets prophets were all maids and you cannot call this discrimination against women because it's Allah, it's God who created us and who knows us. And and though though Mary is not a prophet, she is not a prophet or a prophetess, but she is a woman uh, who has you know a very special and an elevated status in Islam and for sure in Christianity. And no one can deny this. So Moses came with the Torah. And Jesus came, came with the gospel, and Muhammad came with the Quran, and this is the last miracle sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah glorified be Him, uh, glorified be He to uh, humanity. Okay, so what about Prophet Muhammad? He was born in Arabian Peninsula, as you can see here from this map, and it's currently called Saudi Arabia. And he was specifically born in uh, Mecca, that was uh, in the year 570. And he started his mission at the age of 40. He started to receive 
divine revelation from God through Archangel Gabriel when he was 40 years old and he departed from this world. He died, he passed away. He's not eternal, he's not immortal. He was a human being, though he was a prophet and a messenger. So he died or passed away at the age of 63. Did you say he was born in Mecca? Yes, yes, he was born in Mecca and Saudi Arabia. In a period of 23 years of his prophethood, he changed the complete Arabian Peninsula. And this has been attested to by so many people, numerous people, Muslims and non-Muslims. Not Muslim and non-Muslim historians alike. So, he changed the whole of Arabian Peninsula from paganism and idolatry to, to submission to the one God, the one who created the whole universe. From tribal quarrels and wars to national solidarity and cohesion. And from drunkenness and debauchery to superiority and piety. From lawlessness and anarchy to discipline and order from utter bankruptcy to the highest standards of moral excellence. And a great deal of the mission of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was to perfect morals. He said, When he was sent by God, there was, you know, there were morals and ethics among people, right? People practiced morals and they, they, they enjoyed morals. But these models were, were not up to the standard, up to the expectation or the, to the standard. So Prophet Muhammad came in order to perfect these models and to elevate them even uh, higher. So it was some sort of a transformation. And human history has never known such complete transformation of a society or a place before or since. And imagine that. That was in only 23 years. He did all that and he was alone. He started by himself, aided for sure, aided by God. 